Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin Jones. Today we're gonna to take a look at the nursery closet. I did do a whole nursery tour in here before. You can take a look at it up here. Check it out first and then come back to the channel and watch this. This is more of just the closet organization. This is for any new mamas who are trying to figure out what to do with their closets. My husband actually built this whole closet up how it is. So this is all DIY and then we have the Ikea dresser and we have inserts and I can show you how I organize all of her clothes in there. So follow me along in this video to see how I organize both the closet and her dresser and also a few hints of the nursery again because I know you all really liked the theme that I have going on. So come check it out with me. Okay, so we're walking into the nursery. If you saw my last video of the nursery tour, um, that's great. If you haven't, you should go check it out. So just wanted to share that I did add this over here for her in the future so we can learn our ABCs. So got that from Winners. Just wanted to share that's a little add-on here. Let's move on to the closet. As I said before, my husband did DIY this whole closet. So we bought just the actual rod itself and the top piece together and it came as a set. Bought a second one here. He added the sides for extra support. And because we have a lot of wood in the room, we didn't even paint it or do anything with it. We just left it how it is. Some people might not like it. We are totally fine with it. When you look in here, we also have a bottom space. This is very helpful for storage. We also have some stuff on top behind, but we'll share that later. What I wanted to share with you is that we have these separators here for all of her clothes. So we have newborn, zero to three, three to six, six to nine, all the way up to 18 months. And that's how I separate all of her clothes so far. Obviously we have moved out of the newborn. We've even slightly moved out of the zero to three, but we will be moving on to three to six very soon. If you want to know how we organize our closet, obviously we separate it between the age separators, but I start off with all of her sleepers get those in the front because dad needs to know where they are as well <laughs> especially pulling them out at night next we have some really cute outfits that are meant for hanging so i do keep my onesies in the drawer and you'll see that once we go over the over to the drawer so these are just cute outfits so we have lots of tops and rompers and dresses that are hanging here like how adorable some more outfits my sister got like how cute this is all separated there and then also I keep on the main shoulder here is all of her sweaters because she's gonna grow into them pretty quick and I don't want to be surfacing through them so I also keep those there and most of them have pants so underneath here I know you can't really see in there but there are pants in there and those also go in order of sizing so as we get to the back, they're getting bigger. My mom sewed that and I'm obsessed. So cute, can't wait for Avery to wear this. Like, I'm sorry. Another one she knitted and then another jacket. And then lastly, I just have some hats that say mom and dad. Show you the mom, see there. I'll link those, those are from Amazon. That is the main section there. Next up top, same thing. Aside from sleep sacks, which we have in the front here, I have my clothes here. It looks like I switched up. Then sleepers, clothes, then sleepers all the way. And then at the very top is a bunch of like random stuff that I still need to organize. So that'll just stay up there. And yeah, one day I will organize it, but that's just a little space for, you know, when you just have stuff that you need to throw away because you don't need it right now. Let's go to the bottom here. I have a bunch of drawers. Let's go through them. This one I am just using for, you know, the future. This is for when she's gonna have solids. You know, I got a bunch of stuff in there. So that stays in there. Next drawer is everything to do with bath. So we got all the bath towels in here galore. I have a lot of bath stuff in the washroom. This is also for future. So like when we have toys that she'll actually play with, she's too young right now. And then we did get this guy, which is really cool. Also found it on Amazon. It sprays water and it lights up and it just looks really cute. And I know that she will love that one day. These are also from Amazon and oh my God, these are so soft obsessed and they're thick which is nice because I have some here that I got as gifts 
love them, but they're just not as thick. So I enjoy these because it's super soft when she's wrapped up in it. That is what's in that one. Other bottom one, we have bibs, like unlimited amount. It's hard to organize, but I try my best to organize them. And I also found these. Pretty sure you can get them on Amazon as well. And they are disposable bibs. Even has the part where you catch the food. So to me, that was totally worth it. I got them at Winners, but I think they have them on Amazon as well. So maybe I'll link them for you guys. Next area here, so many Burke Plus. These are from Amazon as well, the best. Again, I will link those. I got a bunch of hand-me-down ones. So I have like really, really big burp cloths that expand. Be massive. And I really like them because aside from this one, it's a little bit thinner, but most of them are really thick and they come in use all the time. So I have big burp cloths and then, you know, the medium small ones there as well. So that is this section here. Next, we have swaddles and washcloths. So the washcloths, I basically use them for bath time and like a few other other things nothing else swaddles I don't actually swaddle her in the swaddles if you watched one of my previous videos I don't really use swaddles I just liked the Nanit um, sleep sacks that had the swaddle like attached to it because it was the zero to three months so that's basically what I used or the halo swaddle sleep sacks as well because she got out of these like the third day we got home so it just wasn't worth it to stress over it so basically I use swaddles now for when we go on walks to cover the stroller if there's a bit of a breeze I can use this also when we're in public if I just need a quick little blanket and I don't have one on hand it's just for random things I use swaddles for last thing over here is like the random drawer so I have the bassinet sheets here this is for like when you go grocery shopping a second crib sheet here extra sheets like from the hospital down there these are just all extras basically I did buy these off of Amazon so I linked them I just love the color they go with the whole theme they're beige they're perfect they're the right size and then as you can see behind the clothes, yes, I have some books and stuff here and a few other things. It's basically storage behind there. And the reason I got this was one for storage and two, cause I could still layer stuff on the top behind the clothes. And it doesn't affect the clothes cause the clothes are so far forward. Now let's move on to the dresser. I'm actually gonna end the video here. The closet tour went on for quite a while. So I will do a second video with the dresser tour included. For now, that's everything.